Yeah. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Today's video, as you've probably guessed by the title and the thumbnail of the video, is going to be a best possible Grease team. Now I have already built this team in FIFA once before this year. But I'm going to be rebuilding the squad because there are better players in FIFA now. So as we know, FIFA's coming to a close and there are better players in the teams that uh, we can put in. So without any further ado, let's get into building the squad. In net, we have the goalkeeper Karin Neziz, And as we can see, he has got an 84 rated in-form card playing for Udinese, the Italian team in FIFA 17. It's a decent looking in form to be honest, some good stats for a goalkeeper overall and uh, yeah, looks like a solid goalkeeper. In the right wing back position of this team we have got the player Toro Sidis, as we can see he's a 77 rated non-rare gold card, uh, he's actually got a lower rated card, a 75 rated card so this is actually an upgrade card for him I believe in FIFA. Um, some very good stats on there to be honest, solid overall should I say. Uh, 77 defending, 77 physical and 76 pace. Not too bad, but probably not the best on what you're looking for. But um, still, a solid right back. Next up is the first centre-back of the team. And this is the 83-rated in-form Papadopoulos, who plays for, I believe, Hamburg in Germany. Um, a decent card overall, not the best pace, but some good defending and physical stats on this card. The next centre-back in this team is actually the highest rated player in the team, I believe, or one of the highest rated players, should I say, and it is in fact Socrates. As we can see, this is a fantastic card, 88 rated in form. I'm kind of surprised this guy didn't get a team of the season, um, but as you can see, a very, very good card overall. An 82 pace on that card is very important, 91 defending and 90 physical. Looks like a very, very, very solid centre-back to have in the team. The final centre-back of the team is going to be Manolas. As we can see, this is 86 rated centre-back card. Once again, a very, very good card in FIFA. 82 pace again on this card. 89 defending and 85 physical. Looks like a very, very, very good centre-back card, to be honest. And uh, yeah, kind of surprised he didn't get a team of the season as well this year. To finish up the defence, it's going to be the left wing back of the team. And as we can see, it's the 77 rated Jose Holobas, I believe. Um, I do think he's actually, I, I, I may be incorrect, I think wasn't he like Portuguese born Holobas? And then he actually changed his nationality to Greek. I might be incorrect saying that. I could be wrong, but I'm sure he changed his nationality somewhere. But as we can see looking at his card, once again, 82 pace, not too bad. And some decent defending stats as well on the card. Next up is going to be the first centre mid of the team. And as we can see, that is for Tunis, I believe is the correct pronunciation. This guy does actually come out as a centre attacking mid, but we've converted him to a centre mid for the sakes of the team. But as we can see, he's got some good stats. He's 78 rated overall. Um, and yeah, some good, decent stats all over his card for a centre midfielder. The next centre midfielder is going to be Samaris of Benfica. And as we can see, he's got a 79 rated centre mid card this year. I think this guy comes out as a centre defensive mid, so once again, another position change for the player. But as we can see, he's got some good defensive kind of lying stats. Um, probably, once again, a solid midfielder, but the 83 physical does look particularly good on him. Uh, but yeah, some decent stats for a centre midfielder overall again. Moving up the pitch to the centre attacking mid of the team and as we can see it's going to be Fet Fatsidis. Fet Fatsidis is, it could be the correct pronunciation, I'm not too sure. But as we can see the centre attacking mid has got a 77 rated rare gold card this year. Um, not got any informs, he's playing out in the Saudi Arabian League I think. I think that is the Saudi Arabian League indeed. Um, and as we can see, he's got some good stats on his card, to be honest. Uh, the 84 pace and the 84 physical, uh, 84 dribbling, sorry, uh, do look particularly good for an attacking player. Um, bit of a shame looking at his pace. His pace could be a bit better. 
Next up is going to be the striker in the team and as we can see this is the right striker of the two and this is going to be the 76 rated striker Gekas and as we can see he's got no real standout stats on his card. I believe he's about 30 or I think he's getting on a bit now so he's, he's kind of aging but still he's not really got a card that's worthy of a 76 rating to be honest. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, his only standout stat is his shot which is 75 so bit of a shame but yeah not the best striker but to finish up the team a fantastic striker by the looks of things and as we can see once again another Benfica Greek player it's the 89 rated striker Mitroglou as we can see this guy's card is incredible as you would expect from a team of the season um, he's not got the best pace but to be honest it could be worse uh, but he's got some fantastic dribbling, 87 on the card, uh, his shot's fantastic, 92, his passing, 80, and his physical, which is incredible, 90 physical. So as we can see guys, at the moment, that is the best possible Greek team in FIFA 17. I think it's probably going to be the best team overall as well by the end of FIFA, um, but yeah. Hope you have enjoyed this video guys, if you have be sure to like, comment and subscribe for much much more content in the near future. I've been Drakesy and I hope you have enjoyed, see you in a bit guys.